Welcome back. Uh, today I decided that I want to make a little bit of a path right through this this valley here so that it's easier to pull the trees from this end up. We're not going to do a whole flatten out thing. I think basically to where this little tree is, I just want to clear out that tree, a couple of these little trees, and push the dirt down this way a little bit so that we can cut start logging at this end and have a clear path to drag stuff up to the landing. So let me get started with that. Uh, I guess the first thing to do would be cut down what trees we need, huh? So I'll go ahead and get these trees cut down, I'll grab the dozer, move this dirt down the path and out of the way, and then, uh, and then we'll go over what we're doing for the rest of the day. Okay, well, now that we've got that done, what we're going to do is uh, find what we're going to cut down on this side. Now we have a nice path that we can cut down whatever spruce trees we want, drag them to the path, and then drag them back up to the landing. And I think that'll make things a lot easier. Um, I think we're only going to do mature spruce that's on our land, which actually doesn't look like there's a whole lot down this end at all. I don't want to take that knotty pine. Trying to figure out this tree on our land. No, oh, that one's not. So that's on the edge. We got some immature spruce. There's one. You should be on our land, right? Yes, this one's on our land. So start with this one so I'll go ahead and I'm gonna log any of the timber any of the mature spruce that's down this end um, and then I'll get it all dragged up for processing I'll see you soon Thank you. 
Okay, let's park this caterpillar for now. And so what we're gonna do is process that um, pine, get that loaded and sell that stuff because then I wanna process this spruce differently. We're gonna do it in separate lengths depending on the thickness. So what, where were we cutting these two, 10 meters? Yeah. All right, I'll cut this one up, load it up, load up that scrap wood and go sell this and then come back so that we can do a fresh process on all our new wood. While we're in town, there's another new piece of equipment I'd like to price out that I think would make our lives much easier. It is a skid steer. Then we have that Massey Ferguson one. 25,000 for the base. We can get front loader tools on it. A skid steer. We put tracks on it. That's an extra 600. Forestry is an extra 750. We would leave it yellow. Kind of see what options we have. So that's pretty much what we want. That'd be 26,350. That'd leave us 10,000. Would we be able to get the tools that I want? Uh, that's a manure fork. It's 2,500 for a stump grinder, 2,000. For the log fork. And then another thousand. Ooh, there's also a mulcher, but that's much more expensive. I wonder which log fork would be better. I know that other, the regular log grapple is probably good. You know what? Let's do it. We've got the money right now. We're trying to get this set up. Let's go ahead and do what we're gonna do. Tracks, oh, forestry, we'll set it up like this. We'll buy that. Combinations, we want, okay, we need the weights. Oh shoot, how expensive is this gonna get? 2,650, we need it. We need all the things. It takes money to make money, right? Like, that's what I keep saying. If I just keep saying it, it'll come true. We use this. For two grand. And then uh, this one for 2,500. Okay. So let me go bring this forestry trailer back. And then we'll come pick up our new. Skid steer.
Okay. Now that we've got that all taken care of and put away, let's grind these stumps and then uh, we'll process those logs. do for now let's switch this out all right we can leave that for a second so here's what I'm thinking with the logs right thinking the first cut we do we do it six meters There we go. Six meters. So our thickest logs will be there. Then the next cut we do will be at eight meters. Our next thickest logs. And then we can do two 10 meter logs. Right? 10 meters and then we'll cut off just the very tip to get the other 10. There we go. So now we have, because this is the way that you would do it IRL usually, is because you don't want a 10 meter log that's this thick. It's going to be too heavy to pick up with anything. So we'll go ahead and process these and then I'm going to get them piled into separate piles because we'll take them at separate times. So we'll have the six meters, the eight meters, and then the 10 meters. So let me get this bulldozer out of the way. I'll get these processed and stacked. And then I'll get back with you.
Okay. That seems to work okay. Uh, <laughs> it takes a little getting used to the controls again. It's been a while since I used the foot pedals to drive and steer. And uh, it's a single joystick to control the, the skid steer. So it takes a little getting used to, but I think we proved out that this is going to work okay. And then if we drag those up onto our actual landing and process them up here, I think it'll go much easier than trying to get them in that little valley. I just wanted to see if they'd all fit here. Um, I was going to make one 10 meter pile, but they're such vastly different sizes. I think we'll go with two still. So we'll have a pile of six meter thick logs, eight meter semi thick logs, 10 meter thinner logs, and then 10 meter twigs. And that's how we'll process the wood. And then once we have enough to make a truckload of any given type, um, we'll start selling. So I think I'm going to call that it for the day. I think that's a good, good start into what we're going to be doing. And then next time we'll finish processing these, we'll bring more logs down and uh, start making piles. I also want to get rid of all that dirt at some point. I don't think the bulldozer is going to be the best for it. We'll figure out what to do. But thank you so much for hanging out. I'm so glad you stuck around with me. And I hope you had fun. I did. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.